Welcome to the Team of the Week 29 investment video. Last week's Team of the Week absolutely flew in price, which if I'm being honest, I wasn't really expecting that much. They released a ton of casino SBCs and if they continue the same thing they did last week with those casino SBCs, this Team of the Week could follow the same pattern. They could all go up in price again. Now I'm not EA, I don't have leaks. So I can't confirm any of it, but I will help you guys out with investments. Now for this Team of the Week, uh, at the moment, these cards are up in price. Um, I believe they're all pretty inflated right now. Because last week, I was like, you know what? If you're going to invest in any of them, maybe pick up like the Robinson for pretty much discard price. But I think bare minimum right now, the cheapest team of the week, the gold cheapest gold team of the week is like 12,000 coins instead of 10,000 coins like it was last week. And I think that is because of this right here the campaign bag player pick is still out it was repeatable twice and it required two team of the weeks in it so that expires tomorrow on saturday i think when that expires potentially these team of the weeks will come down a bit more in price and because of that i think you should probably wait until you know mid saturday after content to be looking into buying these team of the weeks if you're going to do it you know team of the season is just around the corner so i really would not be that surprised if ea uh, go and continue these casino SPCs to try to drain everyone's coins off the market. So, you know, you got to go buy FIFA points and EA makes more money. But uh, going into the investments, we're going to talk about some of the moves that we saw. So last week, Urena was a 75 overall team of the week. He was about 10,000 coins, I believe. And he went to, I, I think it was like 18, 19K around there. But if you go look through like the hourly times at some point, I think all team of the weeks were like 21, 22K. Uh, so that's sort of a price movement you could see there. And then for the 84 overall team of the weeks, we had Martin Odegaard will be my example. I believe he was about 15 to 16K. It's a similar price that we're seeing with a lot of these 84s, Iago. Uh, there's a lot of 84s. Decent. I love this Iago, by the way, for a team of the week card. I think he could do decent. But um, like I said, you know, they're all kind of overpriced. But Odegaard was 15 uh, 15, 16 K. He went up to about, I believe 27, 28,000 coins around there. So about a 12 K increase on him and basically the same thing for the low rated team league. So it's pretty similar, whichever route you decide to go, but investment prices, FCK, interesting badge name. Where is that? Bundesliga? I don't know where that is. I feel like that's a German club. I, I'm not even going to try to go with what league that is. I think it's a German league. Um, so team of the weeks, basically just wait till Saturday, wait for them to come down in price. I wanted to get this video out now because there are some other investments for, you know, me to help you guys out with. Wait for that campaign bag to um, expire. And then these team of the weeks, try to get them for as close to discard as possible. I think one card that could do pretty decent is this Beto, Beto, 80 overall Portugal striker from the Serie A. Really good league. And I don't know what I just clicked. Let me go back to Beto. Beto, if you can get this guy for, I think people were picking him up for like 11,000 coins today during lightning rounds. Anywhere around 11K it is really solid. Now, price-wise, where I think this team of the week could go to, I don't think it could hit the prices that last the last team of the week went to. Because last team of the week, there's no supply. No one was really opening packs for team of the week 28. So they were really rare and... They went up a ton in price when the SBCs came out one, you know, because they were rare. And uh, this team of the week is going to have a crap load of supply. Everyone saved packs, you know, didn't open packs and stuff like that. So this team of the week is having way more supply than last week. So don't expect like as much of a spike as last week. I wouldn't, you know, it could happen, but it's definitely not nearly as likely. But there's a bunch of low budget guys for close to discard that you can pick up. This is a German center mid really good position and he plays for brentford so he's in the premier league that's a really really solid card try to get these guys for as close to discard as possible for the 84s i'm just gonna take a wild guess you might have to pick up for like i'm gonna go 15k none of them are really 15k right now uh the, the crappy ones are 15k pretty much so chicharito is 15k uh moose what, what's his name moose lara is about fit they're not even 15k those are undercuts on footpin i anything below 15k i'm gonna go with below 15k on the good ones 15k below on the good ones the crappier ones i'd go 14k and below so like a moose lara would i would consider a crappy one a chicharito i would consider a crappy one try to get them for fourteen thousand coins and below and uh, for the other guys, we there's a few players in here. Hanley, this guy. Let me pull up Hanley's price. Premier League center back, 81 overall. 
I don't want to ramble too much on these team of the weeks because it's like, I just don't want to spend a lot of time on them. 14K, boom. Let's say Hanley, if he's anywhere in around 12,000 coins, I would look to pick him up. With these team of the weeks, I think for sure club stalking, at least one of every single one of them is a good idea. Going all out on investing, here should be your potential mindset going into it. You pick these cards up for a close to discard. Say you buy a bunch of Hanleys for 12,000 coins. I, I genuinely think if you can get the Premier League guys and the Serie A guys for close to discard, I think that's great. Team of the weeks, they can't really go below 10K. So if you buy a guy for 12K, you can lose what? 2,000 coins max, absolute max. That's what you're gonna lose. And then think about the profit side of it. They could go up to 20K potentially, 25K potentially. So risk reward ratio, you gotta think about that here with that investment. If we have leaks, stuff could go great. If nothing comes out, we don't know. It's the gamble that you have to take. I don't have leaks for this, but those are pretty much the prices. Aim for 15K below uh, for the crappier leagues on the 84s. Probably aim for 14, 13K around there. You have the 81 team of the week. What I gave for Hanley, pretty much same price for Jujuku. Try to get for 12K or less, I would say. Yeah, Jujuku 12K or less. And that's pretty much it for those team of the weeks. I want to go into the other investments, though. There are other higher rated team of the weeks, but I'm going to sort of ignore those. Now, we have a leak for an Icon Moments SBC. I don't, we don't, I don't think we necessarily have a leak. I think it's a rumor that one's going to come out. And my situation with this high rated fodder, I think could be a good investment right now. Can I go to the store? I can. Right now we're getting, it's 1118, so it should be there. We're getting late night lightning rounds. They are the star. That's a new one. 84 plus star duo player pack. So these are bringing supply, uh, quite a bit of supply to um, higher rated fodder. That's making high rated fodder tonight come back down in price. And high rated fodder, I think could be a good investment because of an icon moments player SBC. A lot of people would do that. And let's go to live so I can show you what I'm trying to talk about. We talked about the campaign back, how that's expiring. So team of the week's tomorrow on Saturday. I would wait for that to happen to look into picking them up because I believe that's holding their prices up a little higher. Same with 84s. I think that's holding 84s prices a little high as well. So I would wait to buy your 84s. The higher rated fodder is where I'm a little, you know, interested in. This prime icon player pick expires on Sunday. And usually I made a video before saying, you know, fodder is a good day. It's good to buy it on Saturday. But then, you know, they ended up, it was because icons released on Sunday, but then they ended up starting to release icons on Saturday. And now I don't know if they're going to release a moments icon SBC or whatever icon we're going to get this weekend. I don't know if they're releasing it on Saturday or Sunday. If they release it on Saturday, tomorrow, high rated fodder is going to go up in price. And that means tonight you would want to buy high rated fodder. If they don't release it tomorrow, which I think is very possible, I think they could potentially do when this prime icon player pick expires on Sunday, they release the icon moments player SBC on Sunday and then high rate of fodder will go up with that. It's, you know, if you have the leaks, you're in a good situation. If you don't, we're just kind of making guesses here. But I mean, you could start looking into the high rate of fodder right now. Let me go through some of the prices. I was watching Harry Kane and Conte. You'll see on my transfer targets right here. I'm gonna have low budget investments for you guys too. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, Conte, I was picking up Conte for 50K and below. As you can see, I got one for 40K, I got one for 45, and I got one for 50,000 coins. Let's go pull up Conte's price right now. I just wanna see what he's going for. I wanna see if they came down in price at all. Same with Harry Kane, just giving you some high rated fodder examples and if they're down tonight and if you could potentially pick them up. N'Golo Conte is 52K on a buy now. If you can pick up 90 overall cards for around 50k. I don't mind that. So he's about 54k. He's a little higher than Harry Kane usually. So let's go look at Harry Kane's price. Is Harry Kane 50k? Harry Kane is up a little bit. So they're not down that much. Maybe when these uh, late night lightning rounds finish up a little bit, they dip down a tad bit more. But I think these 90 overalls, 50k, you should be able to win them for that on bid. As you can see there, 50k bid, 49k, 49k. I'll toss bids on these. I think. I think uh, with an Icon Moments SBC, we could see these cards potentially go to 60,000 coins. That's what I would guess they would go to. Depends on how much supply EA come out with or, you know, when this Icon comes out. But I think that's a very plausible price on Harry Kane, 60,000 coins. Someone just bought him for 60,000 coins. Uh, so there's that. And then 
the 84s i think saturday you can look to buy those for sure i think saturday they'll get really cheap once that campaign bag expires i mean i've been looking at 84s they're getting really low they're around 3,000 coins on some of them which is really cheap for some 84s now lower budget end i just went over team of the weeks i have it all in my notebook high rated fodder icon spc check 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 uh spc cards i have two low budget investments for you guys that i think can do really good the two low budget investments are SBC cards, so they are getting really cheap right now. We got a leadership SBC, and I'm assuming because of that, we're going to be getting daily SBCs with this promo. It expires in two days. If you can get SBC solution cards for cheap, I love it. Saul is one of them that I think is kind of a double whammy because he's a Chelsea player, and on Tuesday, we could potentially be getting Champions League marquee matchups. So this Saul, if you can get him on bid for a thousand coins or less or snipe them for a thousand coins or less i think that's a great price i think that is a brilliant price on Seoul. if you watch the video i posted yesterday i talked about mason mount if him and kovacic are around a thousand coins they're great buys mason mount is down in price he's down thousand coins on mason mount i would drop i drop 10 mil on him i would if i would drop 10 million coins on mason mount if i could just boom like that but that's what is that uh ten thousand cards almost i'm not doing that but if I could do it like that i would uh same thing with kovacic pretty much thomas party is another decent one um who else is there uh pepe is one that's pretty cheap at the moment i saw pepe on footprint it said he was like 850 what's he going for right now definitely not 850 950 and his bids are maybe 800 coins 800 coin bids on pepe i think is great if uh daily spc comes out that's high chemistry like 90 chemistry and an 80 overall this Pepe could fly in price. Same thing with Grimaldo. And that's that for the SBC cards. Another investment that I think could do pretty decent is gold rare Premier League Liverpool players. I think this could be decent because uh, Foot Sheriff tweeted out that potentially he got told, I don't know what that means exactly, that there's an 80 plus player pick coming with four options. I think an 84 plus player pick with four options would probably require almost all gold rares because that's going to be the best player pick we've had so far this year so i would guess maybe all gold rares in the squad and um gold rares potentially as an investment i i really i wouldn't be doing that but if you're going to do that i think liverpool gold rares at 650 coins wouldn't be too bad because on tuesday what could happen champions league marquee matchups liverpool versus is it benfica I think it's Benfica. I don't really know. Uh, but I know they are the only two games that have not been in it. It's Liverpool, Benfica, and Chelsea, Real Madrid were the two teams that were not in Champions League market matchups last week. So those would be the two teams. And that's it right there. The low, really, really low budget side. Picking up a few of them, it can't really hurt. Uh, potentially, they go to like 1,500 coins. And sell in the hype. Sell in the hype is usually the thing to do. The only way i wouldn't maybe sell in the hype of champions league marquee matchups is if we know they're the big spc because champions league marquee matchups i'll show you guys real quick this is how it usually works uh if you're wondering why your champions league marquee matchup investment didn't go up in price here is the situation with champions league marquee matchups let me find it you wait for marquee matchups ready boom this is the first spc not that crazy 79 overall squad it's it's it usually doesn't go up that much this one is the 81 overall squad and it requires a player from each team this one usually does much better chemistry is it's only five higher but this sbc whenever it is the players usually go up way higher Bayern players we tip them at 650 coins they went up to a uh 7 000 coins at one point it was crazy so if like liverpool were in that slot for the marquee matchups they would go up most likely go up after the SBC released. And that is going to be it for these investments. We're going team of the weeks, higher budget, fodder, all that. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.